Good morning. So, uh, as of now, we have discussed about the work process. Just we discussed about the one topic like work process related information and a few transaction codes, right? So, work process dialogue, update, NQ, background, message server, gateway, spool for printing purpose. We will use the spool. Yesterday we discussed that spool. So, that is what we discussed yesterday, right? So, today, after that one, today we are going to discuss about the client. So, what is this client? Why we need a client? So, if you see in the system, we have only two clients are available. If I go SEC4 is the transaction code. See, here we have by default only two clients are available. By default, we have only two clients are available. Triple zero, double zero one. But these clients are created by our guys only. This client are created by the our guys. So these two are present in the system when you are first time logging into the system. When you are first time logging into the system, these two clients are available. These two clients are only come as part of the SAP installation. But we cannot do any business on, we cannot run any transaction, we cannot save, we cannot store anything on default clients. This means master clients. So in the master clients, we cannot store anything. In the master clients, we cannot store anything in the system. So these are the two clients actually in the system. Right? So, but we need to create the one more client. Our custom client we have to create. That is called the custom client. Our production client, we have to create it. Why? Because in these two clients, we cannot run any business. We cannot store any data, anything, nothing. We cannot do anything here. Why? Because these are the master client, SAP client. Here, master data will be available in this client. Only master data available in the master client. The master data available in the master client. So, we cannot touch that master data and everything. So, in this case, how, sir, how can we how can we store our business data? In that case, we need to create a new client. We have to create it. New client, we have to create it. How to create the new client then? So, there is a procedure, some procedure for creation of the client. So, in the client administration, the first topic is for the, so the first section, the first task is for the creating the new client, creating a new client. So, normally our client numbers will be a client is 002 up to 999. Any number we can put it out, any number, number, client is the number. So, client is the one of the business entity if you want to run the business you need a client that is the definition of the client okay that is the definition of the client so client is a one of the business entity if you want to run the business you need a client definitely definitely you need a client you need to create the client but as of now we are logging to the triple zero double zero one we are checking the, all the transaction code and everything yes that is fine for the basic state but others cannot have access to the so this master client only basis why because we only done the installation so we have the access to the this master clients and everything so in that case in that case how to create the client and which number we have to put except these two any number you can give it except this two triple zero and double zero one any number you can put in the system then how to create the clients are so here, <coughs> client creation we have to perform using the SCC4 is the transaction code, SCC4. So client administration, all client client administration related. So transaction code starts from SCCC, SCC, it will start from SCC transaction codes. So SCC4 for client creation, it's for the client creation. So you go to the here. Client creation, we can perform using the SCP. But to create the client, there is a dependency. Why? Because, <clears throat> let me show you here. See here, this is our SAP system, right? This is our SAP system. So by default, by default, you have the two clients, right? So triple zero and double zero one client we have in the SAP system. Within the SAP system, you have the client. 
So here we have the two clients. So same SAP system. This is called the our ECP system, right? This is our ECP system, right? So client administration, the user administration is separate. Like each each client, we have to log in, we have to to do the passwords and everything. So one client to another client switch is not possible. Suppose user. Suppose user want to connect to this triple uh, zero, then he has to connect to the triple zero only, not from the other clients. Why? Because wherever he has the access, only that client he has to connect only. But here, <coughs> but here, when you log into the client, so you need to change the client here. See here, when you are logging to the system, you need to change the you need when you are logging to the client, you need to change the client client number you have to change it to login so so these are the default clients functional team users developers security other people they don't have access to the users they don't have access to this client only basis can has access why because we have to do the some maintenance activities and we only done the installation so for that purpose for that purpose so we have to create the one client we have to create it one client we have to create it so one client we have to create it okay so normal sap installation normal sap installation so vanilla installations not the ideas i'm ta not talking about the ideas ideas is the so sap sap testing data data server it contains multiple clients so 0 double 6 that is that client is not exist nowadays and uh, triple 0 double 0 1 so in SAP, we have other other systems as well. SAP is providing the one system to us, training system. So that is called the IDS, IDS server. Same how we have downloaded the software, same as IDS exports, we have to download it. In that ID exports, we have we have clients, default clients like the 0, 0, 8, so 0, double six, those clients. So you ignore, you don't need to worry about the tools, those idea server. Idea server is only purely for the testing purpose. So you cannot install on any real time systems. That is the so rule rule for the SAP. So we cannot use only testing purpose. Testing purpose means we want to practice or something. That time you can use the idea server, not for the year. Okay. So here triple zero double zero one are the so master clients in S4 Anna. Or ECC or BW, when you install this one, you will get the two clients, triple zero and double zero one clients. So in these clients, we cannot do the business, then we need to create a new client. So that client, either any any number of clients we can create it, but production is only one. So one client we can create it. One client we can create it. That is called the so triple zero hundred client. But here, high here within the system, we have the three clients. Data is coming from outside of the system to outside to the outside to the your system. Data will come, right? Data will flow. Data will flow from one server to another server, another server to another server. Data will flow. In this case, data is flowing, right? Then how how the system can recognize? How the system can recognize? So this data will go and sit into this this client or this client or this client. How the data? How the system can recognize? Why? Well, because within the system, you have the three clients. How this data knows? How this transaction knows? Where can I go ahead and sit into inside of this client? So, for this purpose, to identify, how can we identify here? So, to identify the client within the landscape, okay, this is the 100 client in the system. This is the 001 client in the system. So triple zero client in the system. How can we identify? So here to identify the client, we need to create a logical system. Before creating the client, we need to create a logical system. We have to define in sale R. So BD 54 transaction code here in this three codes. So we have to create a logical system. So, so logical system means so. There is a syntax for the logical system, which means so SID, CL, NT, and client number. If it is the 100 client, so ECP, CL, NT, 100 client. That, that identification we are giving CL, NT, CL, NT, 000 client. 
so ecd suppose ecd d development development also we have to maintain the same client 100 client then 100 client right so so like that is so we are we have to create the logical systems logical system naming conventions we have to create in this transaction course okay why we have to create the logical system means to identify the client within the the landscape and also within the system as well within the landscape and within the system as well suppose why we have to identify means see here here we have the one system right and also we have one more system also we have installed one more system also we have installed that is called the ecdr ecq we have installed one more system also installed we have to maintain the same settings same like so here also when you install the new system you will get the triple zero double zero one client and we have to maintain the same client we have because in the landscape in the landscape the landscape means so suppose ecc we have the three systems in the landscape like development quality for development operations one system we have to build it testing operations we have to build one system production operations we have to build one one system not all activities in the one system production separate quality separate testing separate and uh, development activities are separate uh, separate separate systems we have to create it and also separate separate SIDs we have to put it separate separate post names we have to put it so if you are installing one 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 system means you need to install the uh, say with the same non-production systems also you have to install it right that is the landscape the three systems that that the uh, entire all systems are called the landscape landscape L -A -N -D. yes landscape landscape means within the landscape so we have landscape means the environment contains like development quality and production operations right that is the landscape so same in the ecp and ecq we have the two systems here ecp and ecq we have the two systems here so here also we have the triple zero client, double zero one client, and here also we have the hundred client. Here also we have the hundred client. We have hundred client. We have here in the here also we have the hundred client, double zero one, and triple zero client. We have right ECQ and ECP. These clients we have in the system, right? So here suppose data is coming to the system which system which client which system which sid which client so how this data knows how this transaction knows why because data is coming from outside external systems to external system to sap system whether it should go to the ecp or ecq okay it should go to the ecq then which client in this client or in this client or in this client which client we should go so that's the purpose only to identify the client within the landscape we need to create a logical system to identify the client within the landscape we need to identify the client within the landscape we need a logical system we need to create a logical system we need to create a logical system we have to create it here okay to identify the client within the landscape we need to create a, a logical system so the naming convention of the logical system for each and every client is this is the syntax we have to follow where we have to create the logical system means here why we have to create the logical system means to identify the client suppose you have two kids you have the two kids you are going to market means you will put some identification right otherwise you have the two kids with same same uh, same 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 name maybe uh, same symptoms it kind of pins right maybe screens so how can we remember you will put some identification right to recognize that for twins so he is that that person and he is that guy something like to remember you will we will put some identifications right suppose like we have some other cards something other number phone number so like that we have some identifications right same as like here also we have the some identifications here to put for the client why because to identify the client why because in this team also we have the ravi in this team also we have the ravi in this team also we have the ravi so in the development also we have the ravi development development quality so in the, all the three systems we have the same clients and same numbers we have so how can we identify how the data knows 
which means we have to put the one identification that is called the logical system. So based upon logical system, we can put the identification. It should not be same. That is the reason SID, CLNT, client number. Which client you are going to create, that number we have to create it. So let's go and create the logical system and then client. Right? Understood? Any any issues? Any concerns here? Any confusion from anyone? Here, so directly can go to the BD54. BD54 is the transaction for the logical system conversion. Okay. I went to the BD54 here. So here I need to create the client here. Just click on the logical system. You have to create it. Just click on the new entry. Right. New entry. We have to create it here. In the logical system. So what is the naming conversion we have to follow? SID. CLNT. SID. So SID. CL and client number. Suppose I'm going to create the 100 client, then 100 client. So name, suppose like ECP, anything name you can put out 100 client. Okay, just then save it. Then you save it, click on OK button. Okay, the client has been saved here. here we have to create the one transport we have to create it why because the changes will be revolved recorded in the transport so this will come as part of the transport administration see here data was saved which means data was saved in the table level i have created the client so logical system i have created for the ecc client i have created the logical system in the so our ecp system in sale transaction code or bd54 sale also we can create the same but here you need to do the some uh, some settings you have to open it logical settings then so define the logical system define the logical system same screen you will get so instead of going this one directly you can open the directly you can open the transaction code directly you can open the transaction code right this is the way we have to create the so logical system it's very simple directly you can go to the sale or bd54 there you can provide the naming convention so why we are creating the logical system is to identify the client within the landscape, right? That purpose we have to use this one. The next one, so then once you define the logical system, we have to go ahead and create the client here, right? Go to the SCC code transaction code, just click on the pencil button. For This is for the change, okay? Here, then click on the new entry, just click on the new entry. Why? Because this is the form, new form you will get for creation of the client. So here client number, which client you are going to create, 100 client. So what is this client? So this is the our training client. So training like something like that I put. So what is the city? Maybe I will put like Hyderabad. Okay. So Hyderabad. So logical system. Now here logical system field is there, but this is the mandatory field. So here we have to create it. Here you have you cannot create it now. So you have to just to browse it. So that is the reason. That is the reason. So before creating the client itself, you need to create the logical system. Then you need to just click it. It will come here. Then currency. So our India currency, INR, it is German. So something like in different currency. So what is the client here? This is our training client, right? So training. We are using this for a training. Suppose you are not using for the production operations. You are not using for the customization, testing, demo. So it's a training. We are, we are taking training. So that's why I, I client role is for the training. So how can we tell this client is for the which purpose you created? Which means, so what is the role of, what is your role for your manager or senior consultant or basis consultant developer? The role, right? The role, the role which will define you, who you are, right? Same as like here, here in the SEC for the based upon the client role which we are providing. So we can decide, okay, this is the production client. Okay, so that production client means no development, no testing, nothing separate. We have to create it, right? So training client, only trainings can perform it here. Test, testing client means only testing related activities. Demo means only demo. 
so like that we have to create the so clients here right so this client role will define so what is this client is used for right so i have i have created the client here so then so here client setting these are the two other client settings here you have created the client so you want to change the settings here then automatic recording changes you don't want to change the settings here anyone don't want to change the settings then you can put the changes without automatic recording or with automatic recording with automatic recording means if some person one person did the some changes table level changes that changes will be recorded for future auditing purpose so if nothing means it's not recorded now changes are allowed means no one cannot do any changes in the system suppose we are creating the some client changes we are creating some company codes we are creating some adjustments we are creating some fields we are creating some organization levels we are creating some employee numbers we are creating which means so directly it's not allowed no change if you put this option no changes are allowed for accept production only production systems the client settings should be no changes are allowed here no changes are allowed remaining systems maybe development and test systems test also no changes are allowed only uh, training systems or education systems and development systems the client is open why because the development system means we need to do the some development activities right which means we need to do the some changes in the system that means so you need to put the changes are allowed so what about this changes are this is also one change this is also change this is the client specific change client specific means only 100 client only 100 client so only client specific so some settings are client specific it will depend on only this client only 100 client only some specific on the cross client which means we have other clients in the system triple zero double zero one it's kind of repository and cross client changes so those objects if you want to change maybe you can put this one if you don't want to change no changes are allowed no changes are to the problem so no changes to the this one so like that you can put it on okay so these are the client changes sometimes we may get email from the teams like they open the client settings from the production system or regression systems are down so open the client but because production systems it always closed anything any changes are moving to the production it should go via transport request only not for the manual changes that is the reason in the production systems we should we will close the all the systems so this is not our production system that is the reason what we are doing we are opening the client settings which means anyone can perform any changes in this system in this ecp system anyone can form any changes in the system so anyone can log in anyone can do the any changes in the system any changes either client specific changes or cross client changes also you can perform it no i don't want to do any changes in the system this is my production system which means so yes yeah once once the client also created we can make the changes that is what we will get the normally we will get the request as a basis team normally we will get the request every day maybe daily twice or daily thrice so we will get the request from the function. please open the client then we will open the client then they will perform the changes then we will close the client we can do that one so this is the client copy and restriction suppose production suppose you want to perform the client copy that is the next topic then this is the production levels client production levels someone is overwriting the data no overwriting no external availability no restriction no restrictions means anyone can do anything here but if you put the overwriting means no one cannot do overwrite anything in this client so that is the restriction production levels production levels we are increasing here same as like in the security levels how we are increasing same levels we can increase it here so enter these settings based upon the your organizational call your client call customer call. normally accept production systems in the production it will be closed why because production all business users also will be login and they will do the changes so that is the reason we will close all these settings in the production if it is the non-production system sometimes we may, we may open the client we have to open the client for the changes only approval or after the approval only we have to open the client then click on the save button 
be careful when changing the logical system. See here, it is giving the information to us. See here, client data was saved. It means client is created. See here, a training client, training client is created here. 100 client is created. Right? We have created the 100 client. So now I want to change the settings. Just click, select the client, which, which client you want to change the settings. Then click on the change mode. Then go to the here. Then you can change whatever you want. You can change. But after whatever the options you want to change it, you can change it. Yes. After the client creation also, we can do the changes. This is the logical system and the client creation. So one more time. So if you go to the SCC core, then here, just click on the change mode for the client creation. Click on the new entry. Here, you need to define the client. Maybe, suppose like one, two, three. Example. So, so here, it's the demo client, something like the demo. City, which city? Maybe you can put like India. Okay, India client. So, what is the logical system here? If you type it, there is no logical system with the name of 123, ECPCL. So, other logical systems you cannot assign to the here, right? It will be class again. So, in this case, again, you need to go to the one more session or so one more session you have to go, you have to define the logical system. Then you have to come to the screen again. Then you need to, you have to come to the screen and you need to create the logical system. You have to do that one. This is the way we have to do that one. Otherwise, what happens if you don't create the logical system, don't assign the logical system, it will create the problems again. So that is the reason. So you need to define the logical systems. You have to define it, then come to the client screen. You need to create the client here. That is what you have to do that one. Okay, got it. So that is the way, the first thing, logical system you have to create it. Otherwise, now again, we have to go to the system create the logical system, then come to again this screen, we have to create the client, we have to create it again. The client, we have to create it here. So that is the thing we have to perform it here. It's an incomplete client. So that is the thing we have to do that too. Okay, understand? So these client settings are very important, guys. Why? Because normally every day we will get the request from, normally frequently we will get the request from our development folks functional folks. Why? Because some changes cannot be moved to the production. Some changes cannot be moved to the production. So they have to do the, some manual changes in the client. Suppose if you want to do the some company code, I want to change. Then if my client settings are closed, I cannot go ahead and I cannot change it. It should be in the allowed status, open status. Client should be open status only. If the client is open, I can go ahead in the system. I can change. I can do the changes in that system. If the client is closed then you cannot do anything here. So for that one, they will request basis team to open only because only basis team has access to the all these administrations. So we have access, then we can go ahead and we can change the changes here. We can open it, then we can inform to them when can we close. They, they will tell like, okay, we are doing the changes. Once done, we will let you know to close the change. Then they will inform us, then we will close the client. Like that, we have to perform it. Okay, this is one of the activity, client to open, client to close. Okay, any questions from anyone? Is it clear? Client creation, logical system creation. Yes. Okay, simple, nothing is there. Before creating the client, you have to define the logical system. But logical system defining means there is a syntax. So that syntax you have to go, you have to define it. So that syntax is called the, we have to properly follow the naming convention. This is the SAP standard naming convention. Sir, I don't want to go give this naming convention. I want to follow my own naming convention, which we can follow. But something goes wrong tomorrow. So SAP is not responsible. SAP is not responsible. So we have to follow SAP standards. We can also put like so some different naming convention for the all the systems. So same naming convention, same logical system, we can put it out. But it's not the suggestible. Okay. It's a it's a client call, customer, customer decision. 
So if the customer wants to go ahead with the logical system, same logical system for the all the systems like ECP, entire landscape, ECD, ECQ, ECP, all development, quality production, same logical system means for the unit client, then you can put it out. Why? Because it's a customer call. But SAP suggestion, it's go with the, this is the naming convention we have to follow. So that here we can understand, okay, this is, this, this, this client is for the ECP 100 client. This is the ECP 000 client. This is for the ECD 000 100 client. Like that we can recognize when we see the tables data, when we see the table entries, we can, we can slightly, we can tell, okay, this data is came from this client, something like that we can recognize it. Okay, this is for the client creation and a logical system creation. Then what next after that? So shall I, shall I, they have the one more topic case like in the same. So you have created the empty client you have created now. Empty client you have created that is called the 100. So training 100 client you have created. This is empty. There is no data. Just created the client. There is no data. But previously you have created some data, some users you have created in the triple zero or double zero. So in this case, how to, again, do you need to perform? You took one month to create the data in the triple zero, double zero one. Do you, is it, is there any possibility to perform the copy? Why? Because I have downloaded the one movie in my laptop. You have the new laptop. You want to same movie, even your laptop. So do you, do you need to download again or shall I copy? So copy is the best option, right? Why? Because copy is the directly can copy and you can, you can move to the, that new laptop copy which means client copy, the movie copy is, is the best option. In this case, then here also in SAP, we have the client copies. We have the client copy. So client copy we have, client copy we have. So someone asking like how to open, how to open the client and close. As I told you, right, in SCC code, if you go to the SCC code transaction code, maybe Someone asked you to open the 300 client, then go to the 300 client. This 300 client is closed, right? Why? Because here you can see the 300 client here. No changes are allowed. No changes are allowed, which means we need to open. Open, then changes are allowed. Changes are allowed. Changes are allowed. Then save it. Then save it. Then, then click on the save button. Then that will be saved. See here that will be saved. Now client is open. They want to close the client. Then just no changes are allowed. No changes are allowed. Then save it. Done. So changes are allowed. Changes are not allowed. What about schema? We need to assign the different schema to each client or to save. No, no. Database is only one. Database is only one for so entire clients. So only SAP level, the, we have the client concept. You can see here. In SAP, we have DB is only one. So it's not like that each, each client, there is no separate DB. So all clients, all schema, all clients will come sit in one database schema only. If you create n number of clients, n number of you have the one, two, three, also 100 clients are there, you created, then all will come and sit into the one database only, which means one schema only. It will come and sit into the one schema only. So each SID only one schema, right? So here SID is only one. DB SID is only one. But inside that the clients are more, which, which means like we have the more number of schemas. It's not like that. So we have only one schema. We have only so one schema. But if you delete, the data will last. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, right? If you delete one folder, all the, all the data will be deleted, right? Same as like here, if you delete the client, suppose if you delete one client, if you delete one client, whatever the data is there, all the data will be gone. All the data will be gone. So don't do deletion activity in SAP. If you deletion activity, if you done, you will be fired from the company. So until unless there is a proper approval request from the management. Why? Because they have spent a lot of amount and a lot of time to create the client transactions, data, and everything in the system. If you delete it, everything will be gone. So then, so they have the some loss, right? So that is the reason 
so that is the reason if you delete you are, if you are deleting from there is a transaction code if you delete from scc5 so wait for my my wait for so until i finish the topic why because the topics are not still completed client deletion client creation so only we are in the client creation only okay so scc5 is the transaction code if you use this scc5 entire data will be deleted from data deleted means not only the settings will be deleting from the scc4 settings if you delete it we can create it immediately these are the settings simple settings if we create it we can delete it but you are deleting the data you are deleting the data means enter in the database level also the data is getting deleted that is the deletion right you are not just deleting the entry this is the entry only but inside of this entry the data will be stored into the database level database level the data will be stored here right so this client the data will be stored here so if you are deleting the entry we can recreate the entry but if entire data you are deleting means how can we how can we create the data again you need three four months to get the data here so that is the reason we have the specific transaction code for the deletion but that is the typical critical transaction code for the deletion don't use that one okay don't use that one and also the topic will come client deletion so and also if you are the number of clients means you are the not number of schemas so one database one schema one sap system each sid they are the multiple clients we can create it it's not like that multiple clients means multiple okay so multiple schemas it cannot create the multiple schemas so only client we are creating so 100 client we will call it as our training client as the main client so but you created the client but it's empty client there is no data here but as of now you created the data in the double zero one and triple zero client you created so then how can we copy the data how can we copy the data from that client to this client so that concept is called the client copies we have the concept is called the client copies client concept client copies we have three types of client copies three methods we can use the three methods one is the local client copy second one is the remote client copy and third one is the client export and import method okay these are the copies client copies method why because you created the new client you created the one new client then you created the one new client you created then is there any data you created no right then how can i log into the newly created client then here suppose you created the new client that is called the 100 client so will i my passwords and user ids will work no it won't work will, will it work no it won't work why why because you just created the client which means like means that you are not created any data any data means any user id any passwords nothing you created just empty client you created so then how can i log in first of all how can i log into the my newly created client so there is a different procedure for for this for logging to the newly created client okay for now just we can just we can uh, practice for today client creation logical system creation then assign the logical system to the client so these are the things you can practice it okay so that's it why because if you are we are discussing everything in the one day so that's really it's difficult to you to practice it so we'll go slowly so now you can practice the so how to create the client for today whatever we discussed you can do that one okay is it okay for everyone to stop it here so because you need to practice it right slowly that's why i'm stopping here any questions from anyone it's no questions so we have a we have one assignment right so i think only shiva i think shiva done it i think remaining persons are not completed only shiva completed so there is a maybe let's see we have discussed about the two scenarios right here in sap so something like 
question where we will check the dates anyone created anything anyone created anything everly yeah, I, I, I created i i done okay you, you you are you are okay right that one do you need to explain it more i'm okay with it sir okay shiva you are all, all all familiar right the, the the so we discussed about so here we need to do the some restrictions let me give two minutes i will not take more than that here just put anything here the naming convention when your job conditions suppose it should not start after it should start 10 am means you put the timelines here so normally we will get typical this type of question this type of requirement we may get from the client so 10 o'clock 10 o'clock it should start 10 o'clock it should start then it should not start that is the our requirement okay so 10 it not start after 4 or 6 right that is what we we discussed it right so which means here you need to put maybe here you need to put the timelines which means like maybe it's like 24 hours timelines right which means you can put like so 6 should not start after the 6 again so then just put the timelines here okay so it's kind of go to the periodic values what time every hour hourly hourly we have to run it daily or weekly or monthly ones daily ones hourly so how the periodic values we need to do that otherwise other other period maybe we can go to the other values here we can define like so every two hours once three hours once we have to define it then click on the save button then restriction suppose you want to put the restriction you don't want to execute on the sunday or public holidays public holidays means saturday also public holiday it will come okay saturday sundays then always execute the jail so some people they have the sunday sunday suppose like if you see the uh, country some countries they have the western means dubai uae countries they have sunday is the working day so that time so you need to change the calendar the calendar the factory calendar you need to check and so based on that you need to tick the mark here suppose my my client is a china client or france client or dubai client suppose if the dubai clients they have the dubai clients they have working day they have the working day in the sunday they have holidays they have the week, public holidays for the uh, friday and saturday they have the week offs how we have the saturday saturday sunday we have the weekends so they have the weekends for the friday saturday so like that we need to select it which client is that the time you need to choose that factory calendar so then just click on the ok button then save it that will be every two hours starting from this one if not starts after the 6 pm every two hours this job will be executed like that we have to define it Linux mission will not be created, Mahesh. Separate Linux mission is not be created. We have the Linux is available. That I will tell you the Linux mission separately. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, 